I have another problem submitted by a viewer, and it says, find the last decimal digit of 2 to the power 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 of 2. Uh, it says, use a simple calculator if you need, but don't use something like Wolfram Alpha. Okay, so how many twos do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, last decimal digit. So my first thought here is that when you multiply two by itself over and over, things start to go into a pattern. So, you know, two, four, if I write out multiples of two like this, or not multiples of two, powers of two, 32, 64, 128, 256. So there's clearly a pattern here in the last digit, 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6. And so we just need to figure out where in the cycle this thing is. As usual, I like to work this out for small cases. So let's think about so 2 to the 2 is equal to 4, 2 to the 2 to the 2 is equal to 2 to the 4, which is 16. This is going to be equal to 2 to the 16. Um, Two to the sixteen. Well, this is two to the four to the power of four, which is sixteen to the power of four. Does this help? Um, yeah, because. If the last digit is a 6, you know, 6, 6 squared is 36, 6 cubed is 216, so it always ends with a 6. Um, if the last digit is a 6 and it keeps getting multiplied by itself, so I don't know what this is equal to, but last digit is a 6. I don't actually I don't know if that's going to help us here though because now we're raising this to higher power. I think what's more important is whether is whether this thing is a multiple of 4. Okay, well it it obviously is, right? All these are all these are multiples of 4 obviously. But um hmm what exactly am I looking for here? So I'm thinking the answer is just going to be 6 here because well, I'm going to I'm going to, I am going to use a simple calculator for a second and just see what happens, what comes out of this. Um, yeah, as long as, so if this is a multiple of four, then the whole thing will end in a six. But this is clearly going to be a multiple of four. So I'm pretty sure
pretty sure the last digit is, is a six. Not 100% positive on this one, but it just seems like if I have two to the n, and n is a multiple of four, then this is equal to two to the four to the power of k, that's equal to 16 to the power of k, which will always have a last digit of 6. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, this is my answer. Uh, a little bit more confident in it now just by, just by writing that out. Uh, yeah, this is a nice one. Um, I didn't really know exactly what was going to work here as an approach other than trying to look for a pattern. Um, I thought that maybe with what I had done first, seeing this pattern, 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6, and so on, I thought maybe I was going to have to look for, you know, where it's obviously happening in multiples of four trying to figure out where in that pattern this number lies and that may have relied on figuring out where in the pattern this number lies uh, but it just so happens we're always sort of at multiples of four uh, in the pattern um, yeah i don't think i have too much more to say about this one but if i think of something later i'll put it down in the description thanks for watching